everyone welcome to our youtube channel i am shreya and today i am traveling to neuschwanstein castle so guys this castle is very famous in germany and also in the world and this castle is in the south of bavaria i will tell you how to reach to neuschwanstein castle when i am actually there so meanwhile you can enjoy this beautiful view from the train Right now I am at Fusen train station so I started my day trip from Munich Central station and usually there is a direct train from Munich Central station to Fusen and the journey approximately takes almost 2 hours and from Fusen train station you have to take a bus towards Neuschwanstein castle and the bus uh, journey is also like 10 minutes so it's not very far from Fusen I am going to head towards Neuschwanstein castle now this castle is very famous and it is definitely very beautiful and it is said that this castle is the inspiration for the Disneyland castle so i'm going to show you how it is and i keep you in my heart in my heart is where you are i still think of you i want you coming back i remember when we were staring for almost at the castle and the castle looks really beautiful from here so the walk from the bottom of this hill is 30 minutes and i opted for the carriage service because i thought we were short on time and i would reach to the castle in 10 minutes or something it was 7 euros per person so the only advantage i think with this carriage service is that um, you don't have to walk almost halfway and then you have to walk a little bit but i think time wise both of the things like opting for carriage service to halfway and then walking a little bit or walking full you know from the bottom of this alp is going to take 30 minutes anyway you can opt for the carriage service if you can't really walk to the castle if you can really walk for 30 minutes then i think you don't really need the carriage service so that was my opinion this castle looks absolutely stunning really I love this castle. Look at the color of this castle. Okay, so right now this is the board I can see and we are standing here where there is stand out and the entrance is from this side Eingang and if you can see oh good kids if you can see there is this Marienbrucke. This is a bridge from where you get a really nice view of the castle. I am heading towards that bridge first because I really don't want to miss that view. It is really amazing. You, you can see the whole castle and it definitely looks very beautiful. So yes, I am heading towards that bridge and soon I will show you the view from there. This is me and Jayesh. We were here. I think 2 years back when I was new in Germany and yeah so last time we visited this castle in winter time and according to me I think winter time is the best because there is snow all over the mountains and this is a white castle actually uh, so it looks really amazing in the snow especially in winter and in the winter there could also be a problem that this bridge which is Marienbrucke it may be closed because this is what happened with us last time we were here in winter time and the view was totally worth and yeah unfortunately we could not see that bridge and also didn't get a chance to uh, look at the beautiful castle so yeah we just had a view from the front <laughs> but yes back then we were not even making the videos and today i am here with nishu and jay she is not here so yes he has asked me to make a video and yes now we are almost there towards the bridge The walk is very nice. There are some tall trees and the weather is unexpectedly good today. It was showing rainy for the whole day. Like the chances were 80%. So we took the chance and we started our journey anyway and honestly this is a really nice day. So while walking towards the Marienbrucke, I saw this place in between and I can see that there is a castle behind which is a Hohenschwangau castle and there is this also very beautiful lake which is Alpsee and look at the view of the Alps it's really beautiful
the castle we just saw is the Hohenschwangau castle. I will link the name below so that you can read it. It's German castle name. So, <laughs> yeah, people are very friendly today. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, everybody is in a good mood, I guess, because of the nice weather. So it was said that King Ludwig II, he spent most of his childhood in the castle, which was Hohenschwangau castle. And he never really got a chance to spend most of his time in the new castle, which is Neuschwanstein castle. Okay, now I can finally see the bridge. At least, I mean, I can see the board. So yes, I'm heading towards the right way and I guess I will reach there very soon. from the bridge was really great and I hope you enjoyed this view and one more thing it was very windy out there it was really very windy and yeah the experience was also really good now that we had a really nice view of the castle from the Marian Brook so I'm satisfied about my trip that I really got to see that view as you already know I could not get that view last time this is really on your luck you know if the bridge is open or closed but I hope that when you are here the bridge is open and you can also get that nice view of the castle. So after the Marian Brucker, now I'm heading towards the entrance of the castle because yeah I want to show you how it looks from the front side and now the weather is getting a little bad so I guess I have to hurry a little bit because I'm also planning to go to the lake which was Alpsee and the lake is very beautiful so guys if you are at Neuschwanstein castle then you can also visit the lake and you can also visit the Fusen town because that is also very beautiful this castle looks very beautiful from all sides so right now I am in front of the castle and I can see the entrance but it is closed because it's already six o'clock in the evening and we are very late today and this is not how I usually do my trips so we leave early in the morning and then we try to wind up around six o'clock but we were here almost at 4.30 so if you're planning to visit this castle then make sure you have enough time when you reach here at least consider four to five hours like to hike towards the castle which is of 30 minutes like going up and also going down it will be around 20 minutes or something and then you're definitely going to spend at least one hour here like some time at the bridge and also some time at the entrance of this castle you don't have to pay anything to get onto the Marian Brooker so I think that was really nice here and yes now to enter the castle you have to pay a ticket of 17 or 18 euros I'm not so sure but I will link their website in the description box below so that you can check that out if you're planning to visit this castle so I just checked now and the closing time of this castle is 6 p.m. in the summer and in the winters it's 4 p.m. make sure you reach here early and at least give one hour or two hours to see what's inside and in front of this castle there are these alps and it looks very beautiful from here i'm going to go a little bit down and there's one viewpoint from where i can get a really nice view of this entrance Guys, we are back to Fusen train station and we literally had to run from the Neuschwanstein castle because we had our bus at 6.50 and we didn't want to miss that bus because we want to reach to Munich early. I had to run because the train already started and I was scared that I don't want to miss our train. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you could see Neuschwanstein castle from this video. And if you liked it, then please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and also you can follow us on Instagram page as well. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Care, travel safe and bye bye